former SCC student has turned tragedy into triumph with her passion for writing. After a car accident left her paralyzed from the chest down her senior year of high school, Abigail Johnson needed some time to rethink her future. Fortunately, she found a passion for writing after attending a class at Scottsdale Community College. Now she's a published author. Jonathan Higuera has her story. When Abigail Johnson offers advice on overcoming obstacles to achieve your dreams, she speaks from experience. So I took every class in the English department and I loved it. She had to reinvent her life after a car accident at age 17, left her paralyzed from the chest down. Now, nearly two decades later, she is an accomplished writer of young adult novels. It was never an option to, to not, to stop. It was just, it's going to be different. It may be harder, it may take more effort, it may take more time, but if you want to do something, you figure out a way to do it. She changed her career aspirations from teacher to writer. The path to writer came after taking a Greek mythology class at Scottsdale Community College. She loved the writing aspect and began taking every class taught by instructor Susan Moore. Moore recalled Johnson's dedication and tenacity. The difference between published writers and not published writers are the published writers did it. They made a schedule and they sat down and they wrote. Johnson describes her novels as coming of age stories. Her first one, If I Fix You, was popular enough to be translated into several languages and can be found in paperback. Her second novel, The First to Know, was released in November. Both of my main characters, their, their stories are very different, but they're both hit in their lives with something that they had no control over. The only thing that they can control is how do they react, how do they move forward. And that's something that I've had a lot of experience with. She describes herself as a structured writer obsessed with meeting her deadlines. She's also hyper-tuned in to the experiences and travails of those around her, which informs her writing and character development. Since my accident, I have a lot more, I don't want to say empathy, but I look at people and I think about their situations and I think about what's going on in their head and what, what sort of struggles they're going with. I think about it in a different way than I did before my accident. She has demonstrated the ability to take those observations and put them together in engaging storylines. It is a long, hard process to sort of break into becoming an author, but what I love so much is that anybody can do it. I had no connections. I had no practical skill set in writing. You know, I had, I had a desire and I had a drive. <laughs> Johnson has had a strong support network of family and friends during her journey. Her mom and sister often accompany her on out-of-town trips. It allows her to focus on negotiating contracts with publishers, marketing her work, as well as the storytelling itself. She attributes much of her success to those early writing classes she took with Moore and other instructors at SCC. It was really accessible, and I mean that in all senses of the word. And um, I don't know that I would have started, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have started writing if I hadn't taken that Greek mythology class. Reporting for Maricopa Now, I'm Jonathan Higuera.